Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. Don't mind the fact that I have the Dolphins game in the back behind me. Um, I'm a Dolphins fan, but I have to get these videos out to you guys today because I was out yesterday or taking a day with my family. Anyhow, but of course, news pops off. What, what's new? What's new? News has to pop off the day that I don't record, and I'm at a Miami Hurricanes football game with my, with my wife and kids. That said, Angel Reese is out for the year. Um, but before we jump in, thank you all for your continued support of our channel. Greatly appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, – I want to thank you all for your continued support of our channel. This is a reaction to this uh, – her decision to um, – I don't know if her decision, but the injur- this wrist injury that has her out for the, re- the the rest of the year. This is my stance on it. If she's actually injured, then it is what it is. But it's hard for me as someone who watches sports, who has watched sports and has been watching this circus with the WNBA, that you go from being reported as questionable for today's game to all of a sudden out for the entire season. Okay? Questionable to out for the season is not the same. You don't go from questionable to out for the season on the same day, within hours. And then if you read what she says, all this stuff that she says on her uh, Twitter post, X post, she actually says at the end, and I think this is telling, I am finally able to give myself a physical and mental break. You will still see me being the biggest cheerleader on the sideline and unrivaled league. See you soon. I thought that she was playing for a playoff spot. I thought she cared about winning with the Chicago Sky. So she's worried about an, a league, a, the unrivaled league of three on three basketball. That's what she's concerned about. Is that really what she's concerned about? This is mind blowing to me, honestly. Mind blowing. Because. When you see stuff like this and you read stuff like this, I wa- I saw there was a few plays in which they saw where she hit the ground and she kind of probably hit her hand on the wrist. If her wrist is broken, it would have been reported as such. Her wrist is sore. Her wrist hurts. That's fine. Where I come from, if you're hurt, you can play. If you're injured, you can't. And this happens to be the day after her podcast drops. She has the best game she's had. In two months, I don't – coincidences – I don't live into the land of coincidences. I think that things are strategically done at times. And, yeah, her wrist might hurt. Her wrist might hurt. But I've never seen a player go from con- questionable to out for the season. And, yet she's talking about being ready for this unrivaled league. When does the unrivaled league start? January. So we're in uh September. So apparently she can she'll be healthy and healthy enough to play in that in four months. Why would you rule yourself out for this season? Why? Why would you why would you do that? It's not like they're gonna go add another player at this point. They have five games left. They're not gonna add another player, they'll just play with what they got. Why why would you I think this is the perfect opportunity for Camilla Cardoso to start dominating? And averaging 20, you know, 18 and 12, 18 and 10, and showing you how good she is around the basket. And that's what I expect Chicago to do. Curious to see how they win. If they start winning games, what does that tell you? Now, if they start getting, if they lose all five, then that tells you another stuff about how important Angel Reese is to that team. But if they go three and two or four and one, that also tells you, oh, but maybe she wasn't as important as she thought she was. But I think this is strategically done. I don't believe that she's really hurt that would knock you off this season. I'll, I'll flat say it. I don't believe that she's really hurt the way it would be to knock you off this season, not with five games left and two-plus weeks left in the season. Why would you announce that right now? Did you tear a ligament in your wrist? See, if you tore a ligament in your wrist, you're not ready to play in January. If your wrist is broken, you're probably not ready to play in January because wrist injuries take time to heal from. How long?
I mean, two, you're talking about just in a splint for a month and a half. You're a basketball player. But what happened? I thought she was also ambidextrous. They go out of their way to say she's ambidextrous. So why couldn't she play? It rubs me the wrong way. I think it seems very, very convenient that after the best game she's played in two months that she's now out for the year. I think it's very convenient that you go from questionable to out for the year within hours. Really convenient. But I'm not going to make this a lengthy a lengthy thing because – yeah, I just I'm I'm flabbergasted by the fact that she's they didn't mention this in the post game press conference. They're all smiles and happy, 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 joy, joy. Looked like they won the championship, all that stuff after that game against the Sparks. It looked like they they just won the championship. So so happy. Very interesting to me though. Very very interesting to me. Um, but I'm curious to see how they re they react to this and how they respond to this. Uh, and uh, we shall see, man. Do you think she's really hurt? Do you think she's hurt enough to make her out for the year? I think she's mentally beaten. I think she's mentally tired. This is my opinion. I think she's mentally exhausted. And I think that podcast, she voiced a lot of things. She also voiced that, which I found funny. She also voiced, I, I heard later on, that she was not, she was, she took mental time from the team at LSU. They reported her as being suspended. They didn't report her as taking mental time from the team. They, re they reported her as suspended. LSU did. LSU reported her as suspended from the team. Not that she took some time off. So she's trying to change that narrative. So you believe her or you believe LSU? I believe right now that she needs a mental break. She is tired. She is g mentally gassed. She's tired of all the bullshit and, and stuff that's herself created as well. And now she'll be able to focus on her podcast for the next few months and not have to worry about basketball. I'm probably rambling all over the place here because I don't want to get people think I'm an insensitive person. I'm not really all that insensitive. If she actually truly is injured, then I hope she gets better. But I think it's really, really convenient that she gets injured and out for the year within an hour or a couple of hours. And she's the one reporting it, not even Chicago. She reported it on the on her uh, on her Twitter feed. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Love to know what you think. Thank you again for lo loving our videos and subscribing and following us. Come on now.